And they show like it. Oh no! Oh no! I just spoiled myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm actually legitimately mad right now. All right, so we're gonna talk about this a little bit. Um, yeah, they did like the rest of this training stuff. This was probably the dopest scene in the entire show. I loved this. This was absolutely amazing. I love this scene. I don't really, honestly, like, it's usually a lot easier to talk about stuff when I don't like something. But when I do like something and I think it's perfect, like, this was, I, first of all, I've never seen, I don't think, yeah, have I ever seen something like this in anime? Where dude is just, I mean, maybe not since Naraku. But he didn't kill Koga. He was just torturing her. Um, and that's for Inuyasha. Um, I can't think of any anime. Maybe Baki? I guess? That, yeah, Baki would probably be the closest thing I can think of. Um, and I only watched a few episodes of that, which I need to catch up on. But um, I only have one access to one Netflix account and I forgot the password. So it looks like I'm not watching it anymore. Hmm. <laughs> But there was a part where uh, homie in the glass prison was like, oh yeah, if you shoot the glass or whatever, what makes you think I won't escape? And um, I guess he like shot the glass and dude like pushed the glass open or something. I, I don't remember. And then he like comes up to one of these dudes and he says, you know what the deadliest sound in the world is? And he like goes up to his ear and he goes, <sighs> and his brains fly out of the other side. <laughs> I thought that shit was amazing. I was like, yo, who the fuck wrote this? Like, like that shit was dope. So, um, yeah, there was that. Um, but yeah, I haven't really seen anything that's like to this caliber in anime in a while. Like, I don't, yeah, I can't even think of something that's like, that was, that's ever been like this that I've personally seen. So... Even homie who was just like, oh, I'm out of here. I'm dipping. And it was just like, uh, <laughs> nigga, you thought? <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's not great. That's not great at all. Um, I also just realized I'm talking about it and I didn't even hit the record button. So, um, this is going to be a little difficult. But I guess we're just going to talk specifically about, um, Ren Goku because I pulled up the. Of course I pulled up the wiki because I wanted to make sure I had his name right. And then I accidentally got a little bit of spoilers, which not great. Um, but you know, there's apparently there's two Ren Gokus. There's uh the fa I guess he they're brothers or father and son. I didn't read that part. I skimmed over it. But um he's the flame pillar, which is dope. But uh the previous flame pillar is apparently stronger so that's very interesting but yeah there was just a lot of stuff going on in this episode that i i just really dug and i love how drawn out th because this is how long of a sequence is this i think this is like eight nine minutes of the episode so this starts one minute into the episode so literally there's tanjiro training then there's the intro so there's these guys tanjiro's training and then we go I don't even think we go into the intro. There's no intro. Yeah, there's no intro into this. So then it just immediately goes into this as the second scene. Nine minutes. So it's nine minutes <laughs> of just anxious torture. And it's just, it's so great. I love it. It's not one of those things where there's space put in it to pad it because literally everything Muzan is talking about is literally like just like showing off his character because we don't know a whole lot about him from this much that we've watched which i should really be recording it but it's okay i'm just gonna rip the vod later um so we don't know much about his actual character and what his personality is like at least too much from his interaction with tanjiro it's just like oh okay we get it this guy's like obviously a cold-blooded murderer okay we get it makes sense but also to the extent in which people fear him. Like the fact that he is this, not only like this strong, but like he says things and people are just like, nope, I, I shit myself already. So the fact that the sheer fear that these guys have, and these are, these are lower. These are the lower 
uh, like six, basically, like the lower six demons. So out of the 12 original demons that he made, the bottom six are the weakest ones. And he just Thanos all of these dudes. Like he just claps every single one, except for this guy. So he's gonna be in the train arc, which is gonna be very interesting. So he just like, oh, I don't need any of these guys anymore. They're useless to me. Like the top six never change. The bottom six, I keep having to replace these guys. You know what? And he just fires them all. Like all, without even like a hesitation because one of the other ones died. Like that is insane. <laughs> so like he just gives absolutely no fucks and it's gotten to a point where tanjiro is strong enough now to like even be a fourth or maybe a third as strong as like the pillars which is nuts to me because he's like just learning stuff so fast and what i also love is we get to see the training and we get to see him grow which we don't really see a whole lot in anime i know a lot of people complain that in naruto and in bleach which bleach they do show training arcs but you know whatever and all of these other anime they never show the character actually getting stronger but we see tanjiro not just like leaping to become more powerful he's like incrementally powerful and we get to watch it and it takes forever like the past three episodes of him just training are just like oh my god it, they're just such a slog but at the same time they're very entertaining so of course we get into like oh uh this is also more world building and characters and stuff anything that doesn't have to do with tanjiro by himself is i consider world building and world building is very important because you understand the stakes and the rules of the uh, of the world that the main character operates in now the only thing i didn't like was when uh tanjiro just suddenly was able to use his dad's fire breathing technique which i was just like um okay his dad didn't really teach him that he kind of just watched his dad and then all of a sudden he had the ability to for fire and yeah but i do like how he was completely discredited by uh the lower five that he was fighting i can't remember dude's name but uh basically the spider kid and he was like oh you didn't you didn't think you chopped my head off did you i i severed my own neck like just to like lure you into a space of where i could kill you he's nowhere near the strength of uh What's his name? Um, Tomika. How did I forget? Anyway, so uh, yeah, he's not even close to the level of Tomika. So I wanna know how powerful Ren Goku is. Like, especially because I guess at this point in the manga, um, he's considered a former pillar. So I wonder why, and maybe this is because, uh, and they show like, it. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, I just spoiled myself. <laughs> I I was looking at the wiki, right? <laughs> and I don't want to spoil you guys either. So I, I just, I, I looked too far and I put two and two together. So <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm actually legitimately mad right now. <laughs> oh my God, yo, and now I get to see, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> See, this is how you accidentally get me to read a manga. This is how you get me to read a manga, bro. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely really, really excited. Um, I can only speculate what's gonna happen in the train movie, or the train arc, train arc movie, infinity train movie. I can only guess, um, but I do love this rollout though. I think this was probably the best timed thing for this anime to ever exist. Honestly, I've never seen timing like this in all of the anime TV shows or movies that I've ever watched. I've never seen a rollout like this where the show exists and is based off of previous material, off of, you know, the manga, obviously. Um, and then, so the show is going and then literally as the season ends, by the way, there's a movie. Like, that whole sequence is just perfectly rolled out. Like, it's almost like they knew the show was just gonna be like a hit instantly. Like, obviously you can kinda get an idea based on like manga sales and volumes and like how, how good it's doing in Japan. But like, stuff that does well in Japan 
doesn't always necessarily do well in America, like, and vice versa. Like, it's the same thing with music, it's the same thing with movies, like, all of these things are different mediums, so we have to acknowledge them as such. So, I just think it's a very interesting situation that we have here, and I'm super, super hyped. It's almost as if, um, when you're watching My Hero Academia Season 3, right, and we go all the way up until the end, and actually you know what my hero season two so we get to the end of my hero season two and then the movie that came out the um two heroes were to come out that same week or that same month you know what i mean like and then right after that we're going into like season three like that would be the best rollout for that specific show so that's what we're having here which i think is amazing i can't wait to see it i hope i don't have to wait a year how dope would it have been if last episode they announced the movie and then one week later when the new episode should air the movie comes out that would be like yo and it's streamable so if i have to wait a year when the new season would come out so i have to wait until this time next year it's like well this might have been just been the show so but also from what i hear is the infinite train arc is also pretty short so it makes sense to condense it to a two-hour movie which is the same logic i've been telling people about bleach coming back bleach does not need to come back <laughs> like it just needs a movie the last two arcs are this big like we don't need it that's a two-hour movie it's fine so which matter of fact i'm gonna go tweet that i'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet that shit right now <laughs>